morning, friends. I'm Reverend Carla Leitner, part of the fabulous ministerial team at Unity San Diego. And today we're talking about growing, not growing taller. I kind of wish I was talking about that, but I've resigned myself to being four, ten and a half. And that's okay because being short is fun as well. But talking about growing on our journey of life, growing in spirituality, growing up, and becoming the best we can be. You know, everything in life is growth. We see it physically when we're, of course, born, we're small, an infant, and we grow and become a toddler. Then we become a larger kid and we grow up to adulthood. So we can actually see the progression of our human journey by looking at how our bodies and morph and change. But there's also growth within our emotional, our spiritual, and our mental selves as well. And so we have education through school, we have, you know, people we can talk to for to become emotionally when we have emotional challenges and we have our spirituality. And to me, that spirituality is the foundation of it all. Because when we are centered and really firm in our foundation with the God of our understanding, all the rest falls into place. So it doesn't matter which stage I am in life. If I lean back into the arms of the God of my understanding, if I trust and have faith, and it all works out, doesn't it? The scripture today comes from 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 3. Your faith is growing abundantly, and the love of every one of you for one another is increasing. So growth is being connected with our faith. And isn't that how we grow? I think I've said before, you know, when you buy a crossword puzzle, or, or when you buy a, a, a puzzle, you're hoping, you have faith that every single piece is in the box. Not a crossword puzzle, but um, one of those box puzzles. The ones with a thousand pieces. You have faith that it's not going to be 998 pieces, that all thousands are going to be in there. When you go and cash your paycheck each week, you have faith that that money's going to be there. We have faith that when we go and buy thing, something from the store, that it's what we want. We have faith in so many things. We have faith that the sun will rise and the moon will set. So we have faith in so many things that we don't even realize that we have faith in. And as we have faith in those things, because someone has to actually put in the information about your hours at work. They have to put in with the payroll company uh, to have your check made, to come out, to go in your bank. And those are human activities. How much more it is in our spiritual growth. If we have faith in God, if we have faith that we are abundantly blessed and that all our blessings come from God, and that God is in, as, and through every single thing, including us. And so who do we look for? For our source of all, we look to God. Let's take a moment, friends, to just bless with gratitude God. Bless with gratitude and love our growth on our own individual spiritual journeys. And let's bless with love and gratitude the relationships that we have with each other that are growing, with our communities that are growing, and the way that Spirit is expressing in, as, and through us. Because when we allow with faith, we allow that to happen miraculous things happen. I told about it on Sunday when we were looking for a new youth director. And uh, I had said, we're going to have a youth director. And I scheduled a training. And had no clue. 
no clue. Nobody was coming forward. People were talking about it, but, you know, when I finally let go and had faith, I was at Scouts, and I was talking to my daughter, and I said, you know, I have no idea. Just gonna, this is totally faith. I have no idea who's gonna step in and run our youth department. I don't know if we are gonna have to close it. I have no clue. And in walked Lauren and said, you have a job? What are you talking about? What is it? Can you send me a job description? And I did. And she accepted as our youth director. And she's worked with kids. And one of my goals was to start a, a help with our youth ministry for kids with special needs. And she has experience in that. And just a wonderful, wonderful opportunity that that was totally spirit-led. And so things, things do happen when we rely on God. So let's take a moment to rely on God. Breathe into this experience, knowing we are in a safe and sacred space. As I breathe in and release, Breathe in and let go. And I'm just so thankful. So thankful for my growth and my spirituality. So thankful and so free that when I have a challenge and it sets on my shoulders, that I can lean back into God and say, take this from me, God. I have faith in you. I have faith that I can climb mountains. I have faith that anything is possible with you. And nothing is impossible with God. I have faith and I know that as I grow on my spiritual journey, I am loving every minute of it. The more I release and give to you, the more I grow. And take this time now to just focus on the love of our journey and our love of God in the silence. Of my spiritual journey. I love every moment of it. I love the freedom. I love the feeling of security. That feeling of knowing that the ever loving presence of spirit is in, as, and through me. And it is a presence that I can depend on to know and have faith that all is truly well. And I say thank you Thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. I invite you, friends, to open your eyes and be back in our moment right now. Be back in this moment. Knowing that spirit, the God of your understanding, is available at any time. What a blessing it is to grow in God. So thank you so much for joining me today. Have a fabulous Thursday. Namaste. Bye-bye.